So it's a beautiful day. We're down at the first uh, coffee and chocolate show on Auckland's waterfront at the Cloud. It's an opportunity for us, I think, to interact with people. People are being inspired, I think, by the, uh, the US market at the moment, the American market, which is based on uh, filter coffee, uh, light roasted coffee, um, made long extractions and now that's totally different than our tradition in New Zealand which is a copy of the Italian tradition of espresso based milk coffees. So what we're here today is to allow people to sample the different styles and get their reactions is uh, are people interested in this new style? What we've done is we've come up with some new style uh, blend of coffee, which is uh, very simple. It's not a single origin, but it's, it's a two bean blend, whereas our traditional coffee is up to a seven bean blend. What we're going to do is make two small four ounce samples, give them to people, get them to try both, and then vote and tell us basically which one they like the best and why, if possible. Well, it mainly comes from America and it's a new school sort of uh, type of making coffee and it's very driven by the World Barista Council, that, that the World Barista rules. So they're looking for uh, the perfect definition of espresso, so the 30ml full shot, not the, not the short ristretto shot that the Italians do. And quite light roasted coffee, so it gets that real acidity to it and it punches through the milk because we make a lot of milk coffee now. So it's all come from that and it's, as coffee making techniques are changing and evolving, people are looking for that new, well what we call new school. Well today I've just done a, a, a two bean very simple light roasted mix, which is a Yuga Chef and a Colombian mix. And uh, we've done it to a medium roast and we're going to be making full size 30 mil extractions and quite thin milk free poured into the cup um, and that's what we, we're defining as new school today. Yeah, I think I prefer that one. Whatever that was. The old school, yeah. It's quite smooth to drink. It's not as sharp as this one. That one seems more intense, now I've had a few. Yeah. 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 At first that one was, when I had my first mouthful. And then it mellowed, yeah. And then it mellowed, that's mellowed, and now this one is the it's more intense coffee flavour, so yeah. Which do you prefer, mellow or intense? Depends what time of day it is. <laughs> In the morning I prefer something a bit more intense to get yep. me going. Yep. So an old school Italian coffee is espresso based coffee. The Italians invented espresso around the turn of the uh, 20th century. So it's roasted to a certain level which uh, is, is light dark and at that level all the uh, sugars caramelise in the coffee. If you go any further they turn into, they, they burn basically. So it's before they burn but when they're caramel so it's a really sweet sugary almost but these are the natural sugars inside the coffee bag. I found it's got more, this just feels weaker. I don't know, it's more milky and sweet I guess, I don't know, I could be wrong, but I feel this is more of a coffee, strong coffee, but yeah, stronger, I guess I like stronger coffee, yeah. I like that one. Uh, it's stronger and it's got more flavour, and it's, um, it's got more flavour, yeah, it stays with you in your mouth, it's really nice, really nice, it's more creamy I think, for me. The classic. I like the new style. I like the new style better too. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's more intense, like you can taste the flavour more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I can taste the bitter in this, you know, I want to add a little sugar again. Mm -hmm. The coffee bean has 800 chemical compounds, over 800 chemical compounds on each bean. And so there's a total reaction when you cook the coffee, if you like. It loses weight, it's, everything changes chemically. So the espresso is, is to a certain colour, light dark. It's a small extraction, 20 grams of coffee. You put it under real pressure and you extract 25 mils of 
uh, espresso, which is, which is quite a small amount. And then, of course, in New Zealand, traditionally, we like to have that with hot milk. I would, I would prefer the new American one, yeah? Yeah. Um, the reason would be it, it, it tastes smoother than the, the old-fashioned Italian uh, coffee. It's simpler. Um, yeah, it tastes new. Uh, I think I like the old roast. Um, just more body, more uh, stronger caffeine flavour to it. Yeah. Um, I like this one because it's got a, just a smoother feel on the palate. Um, for me personally. Yeah, this is good, but I think I still prefer the... That one? That one. But this is, this is okay. But it's okay? It's okay. Yeah, I would certainly wouldn't mind drinking it. Yeah. I actually prefer this one. I prefer the other one. <laughs> I think that people are very interested, interested in the comment, interested in the tasting, interested in the technical differences, and uh, we're very interested in the feedback I think we're getting on the taste and flavours. Most people I talk to, it seems to be, old school seems to be the one, but a lot of people yeah. liking the new school or new wave as well. It's been so interesting hearing what people think and that such a mix of different people liking the different ones. I'd really like to see us do it in the future. I think it's definitely something we will add to our range. Um, for many, many years we, we did it in the Italian way, where you only, only have one perfect blend. Uh, but definitely I think it is something we will add to our offering. No, I wouldn't say no to either of them. Very good. Very good.